washboard roads here. Just in case someone's coming around the curve here. Now you may be thinking that the planes on top of this mesa are not all that spectacular. They may not be, but it's at the edges of the mesa where the views really start to kick in. When you get out here, you'll see that it drops sharply away, revealing wildly eroded terrain like ridges and castle-like spires. It's like a dispersed campsite. first, I guess you'd say official site to visit would be Gunnery Range Overlook. That'll be on the right as you approach the 4x4 high clearance only sign. And just to touch on hiking really quick, there are some flat and easy trails out here, but be on the lookout for rattlesnakes. Now in regards to backcountry camping, you are permitted to do so as long as it is a half of a mile from a road or trail and you are not visible from either. And make sure you check the weather before you head out. I didn't see any signs restricting camping to day use, but check the park website while you have access to internet and be on the lookout for postings when you get there. From what I've found as of editing this video, if you are backcountry camping, you cannot, I repeat, cannot 
have a campfire, quote, under any circumstance. Per the National Park site, they do, they do allow you to use a backpacking stove. Now, I was looking at the National Park site, and they did say that you need to bring water, and due to the sediments that are in the soil, the National Park Service says it's not possible to filter any water that happens to be found. So I'd take them at their word. You should always have water with you anyway because you never know what's going to happen. It could break down. It gets pretty hot out there. It's best to be prepared. Bring some water. Bird said, get out of here. All right, I'm glad I stopped for that one. Let's go see what the end of this trail looks like. What does it have in store? We do have to keep a little bit of a schedule, so let's follow the route that Kaya made for us. Snap the line to it anyway. Sheep Mountain and Stronghold Tables are favorite sites for young Lakota men 
to fast and pray, hoping to have a vision for their future. If you happen to find signs of religious worship, like prayer sticks, small bundles tied to branches, or just a piece of brightly colored fabric tied to a shrub, these are signs of traditional worship by tribal members. Please be respectful and leave these native artifacts you may find alone. It is illegal to remove them in addition to fossil remains. Unfortunately, this was our last stop in the Badlands. We did have a schedule to keep and we had many other places to go see on our three week vacation last summer. I just wanna say, having been an army brat, a veteran, a business owner, and now being a busy parent, I just haven't made the time until recently, the last couple of years, to get off the highway. You know, not just look out an airplane window and actually start to see these different lands that make up the United States. But I'm finally happy to be getting out to see these places. I highly recommend Badlands National Park and I hope you appreciate my sharing some of the history of it. Badlands National Park is one of the world's largest fossil beds where ancient horses and rhinos, yes, rhinos, I know, I was kind of surprised too. I was thinking Africa, right? But apparently there were rhinos in North America once upon a time as well. Today, the park is 244,000 acres of protected prairies and plateaus of bison, bighorn sheep, prairie dogs, and black-footed ferrets. Oh, and don't forget, rattlesnakes. So keep your eyes open and enjoy the solitude, serenity, and 50-mile views of Badlands National Park. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you got something out of it. You need to go head out that way. Go check it out. And thanks for watching.